New video this morning shows a remote controlled vehicle driving onto the moon's south pole for the very first time. India making history as the first country to land a probe on the moon's south pole, kicking off a new space race. So look at that. I loved seeing the cheers uh, from India's uh, from people. version yeah. of NASA. Yeah. So excited about this accomplishment. Yeah. This and was people massive. people in the streets, too. I mean, I would be. Celebrating oh, if we it. landed it on the moon. It's a big deal, you guys. It's a really big deal. But they were able to scout out the area before landing. You have Russia, who crashed at that landing earlier this right. week. Yeah. And partly that happened is because you've got these major craters in the moon. Uh, but potentially what they're looking for in the south pole of the moon is the most valuable resource, and that is the frozen water there. The whole goal behind trying to get there, they want to mine it, they want to drink it, they want to use it to cool down equipment when these astronauts land, and they also want to use it to help with missions to Mars. India, Russia, and China, and the U.S., they are all in a very heated competition to be the very first to get their hands on this extremely cold water. Three, two, one. And we have a liftoff. India pulling off a remarkable feat on Wednesday, a historic moon landing watched live by millions. Over the next two weeks, a solar-powered rover will roam the moon's rocks and boulders, exploring the surface of the South Pole. Scientists believe there could be frozen water there that could help support human colonies one day. Now, this water can be used in future missions for drinking, for cooling equipment, and potentially someday for rocket fuel for traveling further into the solar system. India's mission to the moon coming just days after Russia launched a spacecraft of its own, the first in nearly 50 years. But that ended in failure after the lander spun out of orbit and crashed into the lunar surface. Tricky terrain marked by deep, shadowy craters and towering mountains. Despite the setback, Russia's space agency is vowing to stay in the lunar race. And back here in the United States, NASA is racing to be the first country to land astronauts on the moon's south pole. But it's facing stiff competition from China, which plans to send a manned crew to the same region by 2030. Speaking to reporters earlier this month, NASA chief Bill Nelson expressed concern about China's lunar ambitions. I don't want uh, China to get to the south pole first with humans and then say, this is ours. Stay out. I'll tell you what, it really all comes down to competition, and I would definitely say yeah. probably some egos. Um, technically, no one can own the moon, thanks to a United Nations treaty from 1967. The U.S. Artemis II is set to circle around the moon in 2024. The next U.S. mission to land on the moon, land on the south pole of the moon, is 2025. We have to remember that is where that water is. And there's these very deep craters in the area, so it's so hard to land there. Yeah. But it's going to cost $2.9 billion. I believe it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.